Today's scripture reading is from Luke 1, verses 39 to 56. 39 to 56. It's Mary's visit to Elizabeth. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Jordan, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is you the child you will bear. But why am I so favored? that the mother of my Lord should come to me. As soon as the sound of her greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed what, that what the Lord said to her will be accomplished. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the mighty one has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, even as he said to our fathers. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for, for about three months and then returned home. That ends your reading. Thanks be to God. Amen. As we listen to the scripture, I don't know if you noticed, but Luke puts the divine encounter and a very human one side by side. Many, Mary had just had the most earth-shaking news, most earth-shaking experience that ever would be in the world. Nothing will ever surpass that. And what did she do? As soon as she was given this news, she wanted to share it. And she shared it with her cousin, Elizabeth. She immediately ran off to tell someone. She just couldn't wait to share what had happened. And Elizabeth was filled with joy. She said the baby just jumped in her womb. Elizabeth was carrying John. Tell me all about it. What happened? What did Gabriel say? What did you say? She wanted to know everything. How much we need others when we have these things happening in our lives. We need someone to go to who will listen. Because when you have great joy or if you have sorrow, overwhelmed with this, you want to be able to share it. Elizabeth was able to affirm Mary's experience. She might have gone to someone else and they would have said, are you crazy? 
You are nuts. She was not in the least skeptical. When God has spoken to us, we need a friend who will say to us, I do believe God's talking to you. When Pastor was being taken under care and Presbytery, there was a, I'm going to call him a gentleman, but I'd like to call him something else. But anyway, he stood up on the floor of Presbytery and he said, I have great problems with this. Peter thinks he talks to God. Well, no one, no one put Peter down. They just asked this gentleman to please sit down and continue to hear Peter's testimony. We need to come to church. We need to be with Christians so that we can go to someone who will affirm some of these things that happen in our life that we know are only happening because God is there doing this for us. We know that just wouldn't be there if we did not have that relationship with our Lord. And we need a friend who will say, well, I just believe it. We have the power to affirm and bless each other. We need to have someone that we can call and just say, I want to share my joy with you, or I'm having a tough time, and I need someone to talk to. Do some of you remember, dating myself, Captain Kangaroo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really loved Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> and I would be so happy if I could sit and see that whole show. Sometimes there would be a problem and I could see every, the whole thing. But Captain Kangaroo, and I remember this from when I was little, he always said, attention, giving attention to someone, is like a daily bouquet of love. When you express <coughs> joy to someone, the joy becomes even more exciting. And as they respond, and then what happens? And then what? Tell me more. And they hear you through all that you want to tell them without interrupting you. That is joy. And that expands the joy that you have. I pray that we all will be open to give the attention, to sit and to listen so that we can do the work that the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to serve him and to serve one another. And we get great, great joy when we reach out to someone and we help them. Or when someone reaches out to us, it's wonderful when, in, when you're least expecting it. That phone rings. I was thinking about you. It's great. That happens to me many, many times. And it really is a blessing. And I know it's the work of the Lord. 